If you feel a bit awkward or salesy every time you talk about your children's book, or perhaps you don't really know how to bring up your children's book in a conversation in the first place, then this video is for you. Hi there, I'm Evie, an award-winning children's author and ghostwriter over on eviejones.com and the creator of Children's Book University. I create videos specifically for children's authors, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. One of the biggest stumbling blocks for us authors is how to talk about our beautiful children's book, whether that's during any type of in-person events like office parties or get-togethers, or during more targeted events like vendor events, markets, or fairs where we are trying to sell our book. Oftentimes during an event or get together, we may feel it's quite challenging to transition from talking about the weather to talking about ourselves and our children's book. And if it's during vendor events, we may worry that we sound too salesy. And so that's what this video is all about. We will look at what exactly we can say to capture people's attention right away so that they will want to learn more about our book. And we will look at creating smooth transitions so we can easily segue into talking about our beautiful book during any given conversation so that it no longer feels awkward or salesy to talk about our beautiful children's book. And in the very end, we will also look at a number of really confident, infusing responses to the one question that is dreaded by so many of us. So let's jump right in. Not too long ago, I created a video on the biggest do's and don'ts when it comes to selling our children's book at vendor events, markets, or fairs. I made sure to share the link to that video in the description below. Now, preparing for such an event is one thing, but then approaching others and actually talking about our book is a whole different story. Many of us get nervous or feel awkward talking about ourselves, myself included, or we are simply unsure what exactly to say to truly capture people's attention right away. And so having been an author for many years, something that I have found helps so, so much with overcoming this is to prepare, prepare what we are going to say and how we are going to say it. Because if we prepare what we are going to say beforehand, we can practice so we feel less pressure and perhaps more importantly, less salesy. So let's look at how we can prepare our own introduction and what we can say to capture people's attention right away so that they will want to learn more about us in our book. We'll look at two different scenarios. Scenario one is an introduction we can use in a regular everyday setting where we are being asked what we do for a living, for example. And scenario two is an introduction we can use during a vendor event where people can see that we are selling our children's book. For both scenarios, we want our introduction to be one, interesting and intriguing where we are engaging our listeners emotionally, two, extremely short, and three, as clear as possible, very much like an elevator pitch. For us authors, it's important to note that this elevator pitch is neither our author bio nor our book description, for which I have two separate videos that I went ahead and shared in the description below. Both our author bio and our book description are much more detailed and much longer. An elevator pitch, on the other hand, is much more succinct where we share our who, our what, and our why all in ideally less than 10 to 12 seconds. I personally don't really like the term elevator pitch because the word pitching alone already sounds a bit salesy, so I like to call it our hello line instead. So for scenario one, what could our hello line be when we are being asked what we do for a living, for example? Let's say we are an engineer, but would much rather talk about our beautiful book that is all about self-love and self-compassion. Here we could say something like this when we are being asked what we do. Hi, I'm Evie. I'm an engineer by day, tinkering with gears and gadgets, but my true passion lies in the enchanting world of children's literature. I'm a children's author dedicated to crafting stories that celebrate the extraordinary qualities within each child. Here, our hello line consists of three main parts. One, what we do for a living. Two, some kind of segue or transition and three, a description of the main issue or concept our book is tackling or the main thing we want people to know about our book, whether that's self-love, kindness, confidence, or simply a story that is meant to entertain. But notice here that we are not mentioning the title of our book in our initial hello line. And that would be my first ninja tip here. We should put our hello line together in such a way that it already sets up the follow-up question the other person is now very likely going to ask. And that's to share more about our book. 
What I have found over the years is that most people are quite intrigued when they hear we are writing children's books. So more often than not, they will want to hear more about this. So piquing people's interest like this is usually quite easy to do. So let's look at another example. Let's say we are an accountant, but have just published a children's book about kindness. Here's what we could say when we are being asked what we do for a living. Hi, I'm Evie. While my weekdays are filled with numbers and spreadsheets as an accountant, my heart beats to a different rhythm on the weekends. I'm a children's author on a mission to write books that are a celebration of kindness, teaching young minds the magic that unfolds when compassion and empathy come together. Here again, our hello line consists of what we do for a living, a transition, and the main concept of our book, giving the other person an opportunity to now ask more about our book. So this is how we could formulate our response if we are being asked what we do. Now, while these are mostly responses to someone asking us the initial question of what we are doing for a living, know that we don't have to wait for others to ask us these questions. Instead, we can also be the ones asking those questions first and then reply with our hello line once we are being asked. Now let's look at scenario two next and see what we could say during a vendor event to get others interested in our book. This scenario is a bit different because people won't ask us what we are doing for a living, right? Instead, we are the ones that approach others first. And the other difference is that we are there to sell our book. We are standing in front of our stand, probably holding our book in our hands. So the setting and people's mindset is very different because everyone is there to browse across the market and purchase from vendors. So we can be a bit more direct with our book here. So let's say our book is about confidence. Here, our hello line when we are approaching people that walk by our stand could be something like this. Hi guys, I'm Evie, a local children's author. If you believe in nurturing confidence in little ones in the most magical way, feel free to check out my book, Magic of Choice. The story explores the power of choices and the incredible confidence that blooms when kids trust in their decisions. Here our hello line consists of three main parts. One, who we are. Two, the concept of our book and how it may relate to the person we are speaking to, ideally in a way that speaks to them on an emotional level. And three, an invitation to learn more about our book. When it comes to talking about who we are, that's where my second ninja tip comes in. If this is a local event, we will want to make sure to weave that into our hello line because oftentimes that makes us as the author even more interesting and perhaps even more relevant to the people visiting this particular event or market. When talking about our book's main concept or theme, we will want to make sure to show how this may be relevant to the person we are talking to. Most everyone believes in nurturing confidence in little ones, right? So if that's a theme in our story, that's what we could mention here in order to tie it to our book. Let's look at another example, a book that may not necessarily have a teaching point, but is really just meant to be a fun read for our little ones. Let's say I am the author of the book Dragons Love Tacos. Here my hello line could be something like this. Hi guys, I'm Evie. I'm a local children's author. Did you know that while dragons love tacos, they really, really hate spicy salsa? Here our hello line again shares who we are, and something that might pique the interest or tickle the funny bone of the person we are speaking to. And while this particular example does not include an actual invitation to learn more about our book, people are bound to ask why dragons hate spicy salsa, which will then give us an opportunity to invite them to check out our book. Now that we have two frameworks we can use to introduce ourselves, let's look at what we can say during conversations with people we may already know so we can easily transition into talking about our beautiful book during any given conversation without it feeling awkward or salesy. Let's look at three segue opportunities I have observed over the years. The first segue opportunity presents itself anytime people talk about their kids, their grandchildren, or book-related topics like the library or a new book that the other person has been reading. These are often a great in. So let's say someone we have been talking to just said something about their grandchildren. Then we could transition with something like this. Speaking of grandchildren, I recently wrote a children's book for little ones that is all about inspiring young minds to embrace their uniqueness and embark on imaginative journeys that foster creativity and self-discovery. The key here is to prepare something that combines something from our book with something that most parents and grandparents would want to foster in their children.
The second sacred opportunity presents itself anytime someone talks about something that relates to the topic of our book. So let's say someone just mentioned that their little one has become quite the bragger. That would be the perfect moment for me to bring up my book, Ego, Sheep and Knittery, Being Humble and Other Great Stuff. So I could transition with something like this. Speaking of bragging, I recently wrote a children's book that gently encourages little ones to discover the magic of being less of a bragger and more of a team player. It's meant to inspire kindness and humility. Finding these topic-related sacred opportunities always makes the weaving in of our book so natural and smooth. And the third sacred opportunity presents itself anytime someone asks us what is new with us, which is a question that comes up all the time when we are with people, right? So let's say a friend we haven't seen in a while asks us what is new with us these days. Here we could say something like this. I've been working on some projects at the office, but also I've just published a children's book. It's all about encouraging little ones to dream big. It's been a heartwarming journey. And again, there isn't really anything else we need to say here because the person we are talking to is now going to ask us to share a bit more about our new endeavor. Which is where my next ninja tip comes in. I mentioned before that people will be so intrigued to learn that we wrote a children's book. So more often than not, there will be follow-up questions. So just like we prepared our initial hello line or our transitions, I'd encourage you to also prepare for any follow-up questions people may have. Very common follow-up questions are, for example, can you tell me more about the theme or message of your book? Or what age group is your book intended for? Or where can I get your book? So having an answer ready for the questions that may come up most often is what will really help us set ourselves apart from others and will really help us make our book shine. And to help you with this, I have put together a list of the most common follow-up questions along with a sample response for each of those. This list also includes a number of really great and confidence-infusing responses to the question that is dreaded by so many of us. And that question is, how did you go about publishing your book? Or did you self-publish your book? So if you've ever been a bit apprehensive about this, then I hope this list of responses that I have put together for you will leave you feeling more confident than ever about your book. And I have shared the link to all these examples in the description below. I was so, so excited about making this video for you because it has the potential to really help us in everyday scenarios and situations. So many of us don't like talking about ourselves or our books, either because we don't know what to say or we are worried about coming across as too salesy. But by sharing our book in a way that relates to the other person we are talking to, we no longer are trying to just sell something. Instead, we are trying to help others who need our book the most discover it. Once we shift our mindset to one where we think about how our book can help others, we will feel a lot more comfortable talking about it. Not every situation will lend itself to sharing about our book, but being on the lookout for opportunities to do so will help so so much just like we seem to see a car brand more and more once we have decided to buy it so too are we going to see more and more opportunities to share our book the more we are on the lookout for them because thinking about these opportunities sharpens our awareness when using your hello lines remember these two things one once you have prepared your responses make sure you practice them until you feel comfortable saying them and two the more excited we are when we are speaking about our book, the more excited our listeners will become as well. They will match our energy. I really hope you found this video helpful and that it makes talking about your beautiful book so much easier. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really encourages me to keep making free videos for you just like this one. Here's to amazing hello lines and smooth transitions. Bye!